Hello there. I'm Ozzy Robbo. I'm English Gent. And welcome back to a new episode where we are at Star Wars Celebration, day two. Day two, and we're hoping to get a bit more success out of today. The Soka panel is first thing, um, and then there's a Return of the Jedi, 40th. We're old geezers, so that's really our thing. We're also dressed for the occasion. We'll tell you a bit more about that later. Um, but yeah, hoping to get some successes out of the second day. But also, hopefully get to see some stores. Do you see the live stage as well? Because we didn't get a good chance to see that. Um, and Hasbro. Hasbro are doing their panel today. So toys are plenty for me. And our friend Matthew is finally meeting us for the first time in person, which is really exciting. Can't wait to meet him. So we got into the same queues yesterday, actually, actually around about the same time, so we got in for 8 o'clock, uh, straight in and um, really swift and easy. Again, the loveliest people to be sat with in the access queue. We managed to meet, run into someone who we ran into yesterday in the queue for the uh, Lucasfilm panel, which is Bruce. Bruce, if you're out there and watching, we've shared him on Instagram, but maybe put a photo here. Um, Bruce was from Chicago area and we chatted in and basically made the like hour or so, two hours fly by. Then we knew we'd already had notification, so no standbys today for the celebration stage, which is the main stage, um, which is, to be honest, they should have said that yesterday because they didn't give anybody anything yesterday, and they were, although there were empty seats. Um, so we already planned out we're going to go to the live stream stage you still get to see all the clips and things that everyone on the celebration stage gets that was our plan we're going to go to the standby and we did so access standby and a very tense hour wait to see in fact over an hour wait to see if we could get in um we actually were some of the lucky like what few handfuls 30 or 40 maybe probably 30 and they counted them literally by in groups of eight um, and we were so lucky, we missed the first five, ten minutes, but it was easy to catch up. So we got into the panel uh, with about ten minutes missed, but it was already, I think what was, it was Dave Filoni, John Favreau and um, uh, Rosario Dawson at that point. And I've got to say, Rosario Dawson is the most switched on st Star Wars actor I've ever seen do a panel. She's so well versed. Um, yeah. What did you think of the panel? Amazing. It's one of the one of my favourite panels I've ever seen. Um, I did get emotional. We got to in, we got properly introduced to Sabine Wren um, and Hera. Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who I'm quite a big fan of as an actress. She's, yes. Yeah, she's amazing. I'm really looking forward to seeing her again. Very passionate, and they went into quite a lot about the production as well and what a family a type knit family it is between productions of Mandalorian, Boba Fett, etc. Um, and then what about the big reveal at the end? And then they showed an extended trailer. So it was a trailer from the first day. However, Dave Filoni made it extra special by doing an extended trailer with lots of bits just for the people who made the panel. And <laughs> considering it was a live stream, sorry. Considering it was a live stream, um, it was electric. It was so electric. We got to see Thrawn, and we got to see someone in particular pick up a lightsaber. And I don't want to say who it is. I, I don't. I want that to be a thrill. Yeah, I can't. I can't quite work it out yet because I couldn't quite see from where we were, so I'm not sure exactly who it was. But we think it is, yeah, an existing character. Um, yeah, and so we thought that was it. We thought, okay, but no, they surprised us with. <laughs> The biggest price war uh, really hit us hard with uh, introducing or reintroducing us to the actor of Thrawn, which is Lars Mikkelsen. Um, please look up his credits because he's an amazing person and so worthy. And I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, really, really enjoyable panel. Really enjoyable. But let's not uh, <laughs> stand around too much for more talking here. Let's go on with some other stuff and see some other things before our next panel, which is hopefully Return of the Jedi. 40th anniversary. We're dressed for the part, so fingers crossed. What's the deal with our costumes? Um, so, uh, I have... Uh, anybody who's a regular watcher of ours, um, I've got the Stormtrooper outfit that I've had for years now. And for me, with my legs and my issues with my disabilities, it's just not a thing I could ever wear... Um, yeah, outside the house really. <laughs> Sounds really weird, but uh, kinky. Um, but I wanted to do something which was based around Return of the Jedi, which is you know, one of the original favourites of ours. 
and um, we've got a friend who actually was making a, a fan film and he offered to help us with some rebel Endor outfits, uh, some commando outfits. Um, and all we needed to do with it was give it a few tweaks here and there So because the trousers didn't fit, the top didn't fit. So we just updated the top and the trousers. I did a paint job on the trousers, which was fun. Um, and then we've just freshened up some of the deco on it, so some battle damage. Um, and actually, it's been surprisingly comfortable. We have gaiters, which go around our ankles. Um, I was a bit worried about it, but actually they've been quite comfort, uh, sort of they've been a good comfort around my ankle. Um, and it's been pretty easy to sit up, you know, sit down and stand up in. Previous day I was in a hand Solo outfit with a puppet. That was a lot more uncomfortable than this was. Um, as the day went on, the helmets are becoming warmer, a lot warmer, so when you take it off there is a bit of a, a sweat waterfall. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice and actually, I didn't think we'd get approached by many people just being in you know, generic rebel outfits, but we did. And we actually met some groups of rebels, um, which was really nice. Who's on stage now, Darren? Dave Filoni and John Favreau, who we've just seen on the celebration stage show. But, but yeah. there's no chance of getting close to the celebration stage. Not today. Today, yesterday wasn't as, anywhere near as bad as this. Yeah, I guess there's more people. I think because they're timed as well, they, people know when they're coming on, so it makes a huge difference. So quite a recent range. I know, right? <laughs> uh, so quite a recent range of new toys um, have come out, and I think they're on like second series of them. Uh, they're called uh, Micro Galaxy Squadron, and they're actually really detailed. I haven't bought any yet. I know, amazing. Uh, but here they've announced some new ones, and they're like the next wave, and. I could get into this. Come over here. No, you couldn't. Hi, how's it going? Good, thank you. So one of our regular online shops where we, well, more me than anybody else in this household, uh, get my sort of figures, things like Black Series, G.I. Joe's, um, Marvel Legends, is In Demand Toys. And they've got quite a considerably sized stand there this year, which is quite nice to see. Um, but today being Saturday is really packed and I just, yeah, I'm going to wait until it's like later in the weekend. Sunday, Monday, um, should be easy to get around them. But they have like a really good range of all of those kind of like Hasbro figures, vintage, Black Series, etc. Um, Hot Toys as well, and other sort of brands which you don't normally get in normal stores over here. Um, but yeah, so that's worth checking out. So we were just walking through the hall on our way to the uh, celebration stage and we got recruited by a whole bunch of uh, rebel troopers underneath the uh, Atat. So we're now heading to back to the celebration stage queue. Oh my lord, there's a lot of people to try and get into the Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary. So, Aaron? Yes. We just got out of the Return of the Jedi panel. Yeah, we did. That was um, a really nice surprise. Ming Na Wen was awesome. Um, I did feel for her because she had to deal with a kind of tricky situation. Um, it was so lovely to see uh, Anthony, Ian and Warwick interacting because it's very rare you sort of see all three of them together. Uh, so that was cool. That was really, you know, it, just genuinely funny. Um, but we also get a poster. A special anniversary poster. I, don't, I haven't seen anywhere that's going to be... Um, apparently it's Return of Jedi's returning to screens this month. I'm sure I've seen plenty of about screen. So, well, we'll see. The Return of the Jedi was definitely a great panel. Uh, Ming-Na Wen, it was good to see her taking the hosting duties for a change and uh, hopefully she'll do more. Um, it was a little difficult for her in the beginning because the three technical guys that they had out for her weren't actually involved with Return of the Jedi. So um, she did a good job there. Well, it was more speculative yeah. discussion than it was uh, you know, them recounting their experience. And then they brought out the actors, uh, which was great to see. Um, yeah. Great to see the original uh, Return of the Jedi cast out there. Um, really good to see Ian McDermott cracking a few jokes and uh, Anthony, Dalian, Anthony Daniels. Yeah. Even Warwick Davis, you know, cracking a, cracking a few in there as well. So, because it's the anniversary and they're bringing it back for a limited run to the cinemas, we've got a limited edition print. Uh, so they gave you a raffle ticket. They had a certain amount of raffle tickets before we went in. Um, yeah, so we've got that. And then they also sold the sleeves there, which actually we could do with these because we've got loads of prints without sleeves or protection. So yeah, that's really nice. I'm really impressed with that. It's got loads of detail on it as well. 
much better than some of the other tat I've seen. <laughs> so Matt, you've just joined us the afternoon. We've known you for a little while now through the channel. Yes. And uh, yeah, and you happened to get two days passes and you just decided to uh, yep. you know, come down and have yep. a look. And, uh, come down and look at celebration. How are you finding it so far? This is the first half day. Um, it's been really good. Um, saw the Ahsoka panel, which was fantastic, and just left the Return of the Jedi 40th panel, which is also great. Um, it's a bit of an eye opener, it's very busy, so many people. It's very busy. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's a shock. It's, how do I move? Where do I move? <laughs> what do I do? Where do I go? It'll be interesting to see what you think of it tomorrow afternoon after you've done like a full two yeah, days. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have that like Vietnam and veteran scare. Yeah, yeah. So then what do you got for lunch? I don't know because you've just bought it to me. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's chicken, rice and spring onions and onions. Is it? Yeah, I just threw those on the end. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you got it. Where did you get it from? From the Chinese stand down the road. Anyway. Chinese street food? Help me help you. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, is it like a shredded chicken or it's chicken thigh? So Matt, what do you got for uh, lunch? I've got um, a tofu rice bowl with um, um, chili bean paste and some black fungus. What's your final evaluation of the food that you had? It tofu, was, right? Yeah, it was really nice actually. It's the best tofu we've had um, possibly ever. Wow. Um, yeah, really. I don't have tofu too much, but that's, this is really good, yeah. Because you're a recent vegetarian, right? Yeah, since last September. Right. Mm. And uh, how many mats, how many, you know, are you going to give it out of five? I'll give it five spectacles out of five. Five? five. Yes. Out of five? Wow. Yes. That's, uh, that's a good recommendation. How was yours, Darren? I wish I could say the same. You didn't like it? <laughs> it was all right. It was fine. It got the, the top was nice and tasty. Then the further down you got, it was a bit like, yeah. Rice. <laughs> so, um, I'd give it. I'd give it three out. Of, yeah, three. Three Kenobis. Yeah. Yeah. I had the same as Darren, and um, it was fine. It wasn't. It wasn't okay. It was okay. It wasn't uh, like amazingly flavors. Uh, it was quite dry. So I'm gonna give it two and a half shrimps on a barbie, and that was the uh, Chinese street food, I believe. So if you're vegetarian, come here. If you're not. <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> So this is the autograph area. I guess uh, all the queues go through that way, all the lines. And then there's a whole panel of people over here and it stretches right back across that way. And uh, that's where all the autographs are happening. So we're, we tried this yesterday, but it was really busy, and earlier on today it was really busy. So we're actually at the prop store. Uh, we've seen them do catalogs and auctions online. Um, I wasn't sure, and we're still not quite sure, how many things are originally screen, the screen originals. Um, and it appears most of them are. Some are done uh, as copies of screen used, um, but there's some really interesting beasts in here from the original trilogy, which is really what floats our boat. So the Princess Leia dress, we don't believe, I can't believe that is the original because it would not be whiter than white. But it's worth looking, it's free. Uh, they do have an online auction and they also do catalogues. So have a look at their website because it's really worth looking at. So now we're celebration, we know how to party, we know how to, to say hello. You certainly do, thank you. So we just queued for the uh, photo experience just behind. It was only 10, 15 minutes and the people are really nice there. So they take your camera and take your photos for you if you haven't got someone to take the photos for you. But uh, yeah, you can get a uh, photo in front of the bunker and you can also get photos in front of the um, chicken walker and also the speeder bike as well. So uh, yeah, really good little mini photo opportunity. And uh, the line's never been too long. So it's always been about say 10, 15 minutes. So we've been holding back quite a bit uh, to visit this because today was the Hasbro announcement panel. Uh, so that's vintage, black series, retro, and everything in between that is owned or run by Hasbro. Um, so hopefully we come to the booth. It's slightly quieter than it was where earlier when we walked past. There'll be some of the new releases because we have two people in our group who are very, very interested in that. <laughs> so first up, we've got the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter. That's actually, I'm not usually into the, well, I, I don't tend to collect the vintage because it, once you start down that rabbit hole, but this is something I probably would get. It's the 
And then Chrysanthemum, who's another favourite. And then you've got Revenge of the Sith Darth Vader, that's for the um, convention itself. This is really nice thrill. It's the um, Ahsoka Tano clone trooper's helmet, which is the uh, 332 um, Ahsoka's clone trooper. Now you've got the four pack for the skiff. And that's the packaging for the um, convention exclusive. So these are the newly announced um, Helen the Shaw and Dial of Destiny Indiana Jones. That's actually quite nice. That's actually better than the ones they did for the first series. And then you've got Sebastian Shaw's Darth Vader Black Series from Return of the Jedi with a new Luke. Another Luke. A reissue for the anniversary of the, crim uh, the um, guard. And then finally, the correct scale R2-D2 with accessories. But this is the one I've been waiting for because I missed out first time with the limited edition, which is the Jabba and um, Salacious. And yeah, I, I've, I collect mostly aliens and Jabba's palace figures. So that's going to go into my collection, hopefully. So, of course, we love to have a ripped open shirt, Harrison Ford, sweaty, in another country, whip in hand. Oh no, wrapped around his, oh, okay. Uh, so this is from the Temple of Doom. Short round finally has been announced. And then we've got a deluxe. And then I think, oh, okay. I've got, I'm sure, oh, so it's a two pack. Okay, that's good. So it looks like I'm gonna be getting more to my collection. I've only had seven or eight delivered this week alone. Uh, the one that uh, Matthew and myself have been waiting for. And get your chanting out of the way now. The ones that I've got to have delivered literally this week. So this is from um, the first wave. I've got Marion. Marion's actually really beautifully done. The head sculpt on her is really nice. And the monkey is poseable. Indy. And then this is like their version of a builder figure, so you get a part with each figure and it builds up the Ark of the Covenant. Salah and uh, Rennie Bullock. Then I've got these on pre-order. These two are actually being delivered this week. And then I've got these three on order. They're really going hard on the Indiana Jones and I'm loving it because they're all really well done. The accessories are awesome as well. For vintage fans, the, the great beauty of the vintage is they're uh, 3.75 inch. So it means that you can get more, um, sort of a better, you've got more opportunity to get, make larger scale vehicles and play sets. So these are the just recently released bunker and a, another version of the ATST, but this is kind of slightly weathered more. Um, yeah, they are nice, but I, again, once I start collecting those, it's going to go down that path, and I'm not willing to do that at the moment. Then we have a Rancor, but I think that's... I, don't know, I think that might be um, from someone's personal collection, rather than the actual one release. I always wanted this when I was a kid, the original vintage. For anybody who did the Kickstarter, you've got the sail barge, which they're now extending to do the skiff. Pack them all in. With the sail barge originally, it was hundreds of pounds and import. And uh, you got, did you get Jabba? I know you got Yak Face, but uh, yeah, you've got Jabba. It's a beautiful thing, but I, yeah, nowhere to put this so detailed these are all the 40th anniversary range with black series i've got some of these on pre-order so we've got rebels obviously today we're dressed as rebels so these are very much going to be in our collection i've ordered two but i might order three um, we've got the scout troop because i've already got the bike from an ewok set lando had him for a while that's just a repackage um, bib He's a repaint, but he's actually they've improved the paint so it's more like the traditional. I've actually got Chewbacca on order. This is the floppy-haired Chewbacca prisoner Chewbacca from Jabba's Palace. 
And then the Gamorian Guards were really beautiful. They're, they're about 30 something quid. I, I might actually buy another one of these. I've got one of the original releases that they did, but this one's really beautiful. And then you've got the new vintage retro range, um, which is the original 12. And they've got the second pack coming, which will be Disney Store, I believe, in this country. We've also got the repainted versions of the Bad Batch, which were leaked yesterday, well, released yesterday on uh, previews. I've got the original Bad Batch, I might just get um, Omega. One of my favourite characters is Tech. And they've got Cad Bane down the bottom. Newly announced is the new version of Ghost Anakin Skywalker, sorry, Force Spirit Anakin Skywalker along with Kenobi which they has been released before but this is done slightly better because they've not done blue plastic they've gone for the blue netting and all three force ghosts or as they now like to call them force spirit with the twins looking on so the newly um, released Chrysanthemum um, I've pre-ordered this but it's been selling out everywhere so I had to get it from Hasbro Pulse in the end and pay a little bit more but yeah I've been waiting for this one for a long time you've got Luke kind of training he's got slightly different uh, tunic and boots and that's a deluxe set so Dan that is basically the end of our day the mission is done uh, we secured the rebel base for ourselves uh whatever uh, what it feels it feels a bit more successful than yesterday especially from the start yeah but also we feel like we did a bit less than yesterday <laughs> even with the advantage of having uh, got that uh, early morning um show yeah um we've spent a lot more time waiting for things today which is fine um but we've actually got to do the things we wanted to do which was the return of the jedi 40th anniversary tick and ahsoka we got to see that even though it was live stream we got all the you know everything we saw everything we needed to that was awesome um but yeah it was i'd say a more positive day than the first day yeah absolutely um, and, and weirdly i didn't get any of the cramped feeling that i got yesterday on friday friday got dangerous busy today it's been busy but it's not as bad i felt but let us know if you've uh, been to celebration on the second day or if you've seen stuff uh, online that you've enjoyed watching yeah, and also let us know if you've done cosplay, whether it be for this one or for a previous one, or just cosplay for Star Wars for your own fun and your own time. But yeah, please join us for tomorrow's episode, which will be day three, um, which we have no plans as yet. Yeah. But we'd like you to join us anyway. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, please leave comments, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.